<laughs> Some people ask me, you know, why don't you put the glass in first and then put the mechanism in since the mechanism, you know, uh, is the second part kind of, but I tried that once before and the problem is when you sit the glass in here first before putting the mechanism in, uh, it's very difficult to get the mechanism up into the door. Uh, it just makes things kind of problematic, but what I'll show you in a, a little bit later and another step uh, how to get the glass in. Next is going to be your vent assembly. Okay, so before, um, just double check and make sure with the outer chrome, okay, the chrome piece, the outer scraper chrome piece, there's a screw that holds the piece the end part of the piece up into the door here, make sure that screw is in there. A lot of times when I'm breaking these doors down, I put the screw back into the hole so I don't, freak, I don't lose it, and I just reuse it to hold the new piece in. So make sure that screw's up into there, and then you're gonna wanna insert the vent. Basically, you're gonna have the vent on a tilt this way, and the, the stem of it is gonna go into the door. You see there's an opening in here where the vent goes into, uh, the stem basically. And then when you poke that in, then you can start bringing the vent window this way and start bang all you got to do is bang it this way and get it into place and just make sure you know a lot of times you know when you get it in you got to make sure the vent is inside the door track here because uh, a lot of times i see people they scratch their whole door up over here on the on the outside or on the inside because they don't realize the vent is not in the track it's on either outside or inside of the door so make sure you are uh, in the track here and then you can use just a rubber mallet if you want to or even just with your hand and bang it this way and then there's a screw that goes up into the door here that holds the vent in place um, put that in loose okay make sure the hole is all lined up usually very not much trouble lining these up with the hole uh, the earlier models have sometimes a little bit of a difficulty getting the vent post to line up with the hole uh, but uh, these vent windows assemblies are a lot easier to install than the earlier ones Okay, so the vent then mounts here. There's just one bolt that holds that in. Uh, the earlier ones, you know, had two. Um, so that just mounts that there, and then your vent should be in. And uh, just make sure, you know, the door opens and closes okay, and your felts are all lined up. This should all be assembled prior to putting the vent in. The vent assembles on the outside of the doors on these years. All right, so next would be the felt channels, and this is, can sometimes be a pain in the butt. Um, but prior to that, remember I showed you those clips that have to hold the chrome into place. Those clips have teeth on them, and those clips will hold the felt in place. You just basically bang them up into place. So, but a lot of times it's a little more problematic than that, and sometimes you, it can be a little, uh, tr you know, troublesome. So you're gonna want to insert the felt. Basically, what I like to do is insert the felt down this way first. Some people do go upwards into the door they start down in the bottom and work their way up um, whatever suits your fancy um, I found it a little bit easier to uh, insert it this way and what I like to do is you just got to be careful there's one clip here okay that holds the felt in place you just don't want to catch that clip while you're inserting downward because then you can possibly break the clip off and break it off of holding the chrome in place and then you gotta find another clip and insert that yada yada so what I like to do is before I insert it, I don't know if you can see here, I pinch the end of the felt to kind of make it narrow so I can poke it down into the door easier. Okay, so once I poke that down, put that in, put it in loose, you don't have to put it into the track yet, have it come up and around into the door and line it up, Don't even, even I even let it dangle here, down the, this portion of the door, don't even go up into the door yet. And I line it up to the end of where the vent is. Okay, so once you line it up there, then you start putting it in to the clips, bang it up. You can even do it by hand pretty much. And then when you get to this corner here, you're gonna to wanna to pull the felt this way. Okay, not into these clips yet. You wanna be able to move them so you can get this up into place. Okay, now the vent, the felt does not necessarily go up all the way into the door. It can, this is a big pocket here. You just wanna do it to here. See where I have it there? That's it, because the window will not go up all the way into here. It actually ends right around here, but just, just into the felt, okay? And then you can start inserting it into the side here. Okay, get it nice and smooth, then work your way down. You might have to stick your hands. Another reason why you don't want the glass in yet, you have to stick your hand in here to get the felt into the track correctly. You might even have to go up into this area because the felt is not all the way in the track. So you gotta stick your hand in there to get it flush in there. Okay, so 
as you felt. Okay, then you can put your inside scraper in. A lot of times people have been uh, debating whether this was the very last piece that actually went in. I sometimes believe this is one of the first pieces that went in after the outside scraper went in because there's a rubber section here. I don't know if you can see it here. I can zoom in. See this rubber piece here, right there. That has to go, okay, on the side of the vent post here, if you see that, okay? Now, a lot of times, you have to then, if you have the vent post in already, or the vent in, you have to wedge, like an implement in here, to wedge the vent window back a bit so you can insert this piece of rubber that goes into the side here. You gotta lubricate it with some WD-40 or some silicone or something, and uh, you should be able to then insert that, but I do believe that that was probably one of the areas where they had this in first and then inserted the vent to then slide this way. I tried doing it yesterday, but it's, it's kind of troublesome, so I went back to my old methods of doing this last. Um, so I also believe it was one of the first things that went in because to get the felt in, uh, they like to have the felt push these seals outward so it's not intruding on the window going up and down. So it's one of those things where, you know, whatever you feel comfortable with. I wish I had some videos on the, of the prior assembly line, but um, I do do this last. Uh, so you just have to pry the window back a bit and get this little rubber piece in, and then you should be okay. Um, and that's basically it for the inside window scraper. Once again, they have clips already mounted to uh, the the scraper, make sure to get the German, 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 always. These clips you really can't take off of the old one to put on the new one. So you're gonna to wanna to go German with these seals. Okay, so now the glass. Please, please check your glass and make sure the lift channel here is in good shape. A lot of times these are all rotted out and you need to get new lift channels. Some of the lift channels today on the market are not exact. So you gotta be careful of those, but um, just make sure everything's okay here. Lube, you're gonna to wanna to lube this up a little bit. And uh, so when you grab this glass, insert it, what you're gonna wanna do, let's go back over here. Like I said before, you're gonna wanna leave this bolt off and leave all the other bolts loose that hold the mechanism in place. You're gonna basically pull this mechanism outward. It's gonna be in the door, it's okay, it's gonna bend a little bit, and then you're gonna insert the glass up behind it, up behind this. And just make sure you might need a second person to help you here to hold the door so it's not moving and you can pull this out. Insert the glass, you might want to put a cloth here or a piece of or some masking tape so you don't scratch the door. But you shouldn't have to really force this too much to get the glass up. Just get it on the right angle, get it up into place, and then you can bolt it where it's supposed to on the mechanism. Okay? A lot of times what I have to do is go up with the window first to come out of the scraper area because a lot of times the window wants to get caught on the inner parts of the door or the outer parts and doesn't want to come out, out the opening. So you want to get that up into place first. So what that will do is that will set you up for the felts here and the felts for the vent post to get that into the, to in, the, in a line. So you want to insert the glass to come up and then you can come back down. It's all set up into place and that's where then you bolt it down here. In here again go loose because there are slight adjustments on these pieces okay and then once you have that all bolted in you basically get your window winder and you test up the window the window should go up and down freely okay with ease it shouldn't be muscle just like that Even though I have new felts, this window is going up and down pretty good. Next, you can put your door handles on. Again, those are two screws. I have a video on this too. Those are two screws here that hold that into place. You put those in. Later models might have just one screw. Then you can put your door seal in all the way around the perimeter. And then we put our barrier here on the door to block uh, any uh, rainwater coming down to hit the door panel. So, or sometimes we just use box tape, the real good heavy duty box tape and do it in strips and you can uh, block your panel from getting water rain or rainwater on it.